It's 2025, and Earth was just hit by a catastrophic solar storm that wiped out the internet and energy worldwide. What caused this? Could Earth recover from the damage? What effect does it have on living beings? How long will it take for humanity to get back on its feet? Let us find out the answers to these questions in this video. After every 11 years, the sun reverses its magnetic poles, which leads to the development of sunspots called solar maxima. Sunspots are dark and cooler regions formed on the sun's surface where there are strong magnetic forces. The sun's magnetic pole reversal typically brings more intense solar storms, which can cause disruption to satellites, communication, and GPS in space and disable parts of electrical grids. Earth was once struck by one such event in 1859, popularly known as the Carrington Event. It was the most intense geomagnetic storm in recorded history, peaking from 1 to 2 September 1859 during Solar Cycle 10. It created strong auroral displays that were reported globally and caused sparking and even fires in multiple telegraph stations. A geomagnetic storm of this magnitude occurring today would cause widespread electrical disruptions, blackouts, and damage due to extended outages of the electrical power grid. A major report on the impacts of a major solar storm by the U.S. National Research Council estimated the fallout from such an event at trillions of dollars and put the recovery time at four to 10 years. But wait, hold on. What effect does it have on living beings here on Earth? Well, solar storms could disrupt technical devices, but they cannot harm our human bodies as long as we remain on the surface of Earth, where we're protected by Earth's blanket of atmosphere. They would be dangerous to unshielded astronauts, say. Astronauts traveling to the moon or Mars. Large doses could be fatal. Now that leads us to the final question. How can we recover from it? As per the UNSC report, the estimated time for complete recovery could be decades. Also, recovery would depend on preparation beforehand and actions taken to protect our infrastructure before it hit. If power companies cut power ahead of time and open circuits and isolated switching substations, especially big transformers, then the effects would be minimized. However, why not prevent it before it happens? Preventing asymmetric threats from solar storms and EMP attacks is almost impossible. For one, we don't fully understand the dynamics within the sun and are still not able to predict when solar eruptions are going to happen, how large they may be, and in which direction they will point. So stopping it is out of the question. We can prepare ourselves and build our defenses against it. Presently, our defense against solar storms primarily involves monitoring systems like the Advanced Composition Explorer and the Deep Space Climate Observatory Satellite. These systems provide a crucial but limited warnings offering only a brief window up to an hour before a potential impact. Fortunately, most solar storms do not directly hit Earth. The solar storm of 2012 was a solar storm involving an unusually large and strong coronal mass ejection that occurred on July 23, 2012. It missed Earth by a margin of approximately nine days. At that time, we were lucky, as the strength of the eruption has been predicted to be comparable to the 1859 Carrington event. Space is full of unpredictable events, and all we can hope for is that Earth will be safe from them in the future, as long as life exists. It is also our responsibility to prepare ourselves and develop technology of such caliber to safeguard Earth and its inhabitants. And perhaps one day, we will be able to prevent such catastrophic events.